everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Caitlin. So today we are going to be doing another kind of styling video. Since it is almost March now, we're heading into that kind of awkward seasonal period where we're transitioning from winter to spring outfits. In a lot of places, such as where I am located, as much as I want to start wearing spring outfits, it's kind of impossible because of the weather. The weather just doesn't allow for it. So I have created a little list of ways you can start styling spring outfits, but to keep them weather appropriate so that you're not freezing or anything like that. And I think these are good ways to transition from winter to spring. This video is also in partnership with Romwe, who I've worked with before, and they've sent me a couple of pieces. So I am gonna do like a little mini try on haul for you guys. And I'm gonna be using some of the pieces that they sent to me as examples for ways you can be styling these transitional outfits. They also sent my cat Bert. Some matching outfits if you guys have been on my channel before you've seen Bert quite a few times they sent it as a gift for national love your pet day so I'm super grateful for that she looks adorable in the outfit so I'll be inserting some pictures as well I would try to show you on video but she's kind of impossible to work with she's like a little diva so I took some photos and some videos beforehand and I'll be inserting them so I'll start off with the little haul so the first thing that I got from them was actually this adorable little phone case. So I'm using my phone to film right now, so this is just the case, but I've had this on my phone ever since they sent it to me. It is so cute and so extra. I absolutely adore it. It's like nothing I've seen in the stores before. Um, and it's this beautiful pink color with a giant satin bow. It also comes in ivory if you don't love the pink. And then it has like a little pearl lanyard with a little bow decal on there too. The lanyard is also removable if you're not like vibing with that or if you find it's getting in the way you can just take it off like that. I really love this especially for like all my mirror selfies and everything it is just the cutest little accessory and it goes so well with all my outfits. And yeah, I love it. It comes in all different sizes for all different phones. I have the iPhone 11 personally, um, which obviously isn't even the newest model. So you can get a lot of the older models and yeah, it's just super cute. And by the way, everything will be linked in the description down below. So the next thing they sent me was this adorable little dress. This gives me like cottage core coquette vibes. And the silhouette is very princess core because it has like a very kind of structured bodice look even though there's no boning or anything in it. It's super cute and I just love that one. They also sent kind of a little matching dress for my cat, which is right here. And it has like a little bow at the back of it too. It's just the cutest thing in the whole world. And Bert looked simply adorable in it. So I love that. The next thing that they sent me was a gorgeous little two-piece set. It had a bunch of shine to it and I love this. I know I'm going to be wearing this so much in the spring summer. The skirt I'll be able to start wearing right away as well because I'll be able to pair it with other things and yeah I just know that this is going to be a total go-to in the summer months when it's warmer and I just love this. They also sent me the most unique pair of tights that I have ever seen. So these little tights are just ivory tights and they are sheer, but they actually have like little pink bows and pearls glued to them. And it's just like the cutest little thing I've ever seen and such a fun way to add like a girly touch to any of your outfits. And I will just really quickly show you the other little cat outfits that I got as well for Bert. So she got this really cute little heart dress that has like puff sleeves so she can be a princess too because she is my little princess. And this was great because it was right in time for Valentine's Day. So she was dressed up in this and looking super adorable. And then finally, they also sent this one. How cute is this? It's just adorable. It's got like an elastic waistband too. So it's stretchy and comfortable and the little like pink gingham and then the lace and then the big bow again at the back. I'm just a sucker for a big bow if you haven't noticed already. But anyway, so that was the little try on haul. Now let's get into talking about ways that you can style these pieces for the transitional months between winter and spring. So my very first tip, if you want to start wearing your spring dresses, but the weather is just not allowing you to do so yet, the best solution that I can come up with is to find oversized cardigans to go with it because I think that this is such a cute look. So for example, the dress that I showed you earlier in the video would look super cute with this little cardigan paired over it. I think this is such a nice vibe and you'll definitely still keep warm, which is nice for 
obviously the weather, but it does have very much a spring look to it. My second tip for dressing for the transitional months, again, kind of going along with this whole cardigan dress look, is fleece tights. Tights in general are very winter spring to me and I think you can really transition well by changing the color of your tights. So for example, I tend to wear a lot of lighter color tights like whites and ivories or like the ivory color that I just showed you. And layering a pair of my nude fleece tights underneath it is a perfect way to kind of start transitioning into that new season. Another good way to do this is to wear the my nude fleece tights and then style them with a pair of knee-high socks and a mini skirt, I think is another very cute look. It's very warm and it's a great way to transition from winter to spring. Tip number three for styling transitional outfits is to style different pieces that are made with tweed or tweed light fabrics. So to me, tweed is a very winter fabric because it is very thick and very warm. But tweed is also really easy to get in a ton of pastel colors, which just screams spring to me. So there's a couple different ways that you can style this. These are a few examples of what I did. So right here, you can see I'm wearing a large oversized sweater with a pink tweed skirt and then I also have the nude tights on, the fleece tights, along with the knee-high socks. So that's a perfect example of kind of what I was just talking about and all of these tips kind of in use at once. This is another great outfit. So this little tweed blazer here with the tweed skirt, both of them very pastel colors and it's still very warm. So you've got that for the winter, but it does look very spring in its aesthetic. Tip number four is to change your color palettes accordingly. So still dressing in the styles of winter, you know, with oversized sweaters, cardigans, all that, but start incorporating more spring color palettes. So for example, in the winter, if you tend to wear a lot of neutrals, of browns like I do, I tend to wear a lot of browns in the winter. Um, I tend to wear a very certain shade of pink in the winter that's kind of a little bit more neutral. I really like neutrals for like fall, winter start to transition that more into spring. So start bringing in different types of pastels if that's what you're into. So I love like a very specific shade of pink, like this one here, just screams spring to me. And I've been starting to incorporate this into all my outfits. Other colors like pastel purple, pastel blue, pastel yellow. These are great ways to start evoking those spring aesthetics without fully embracing like spring styles because the weather just doesn't allow for that. Now on to my final tip. My final tip is to don't be afraid to experience and try new things. So even if something feels a little bit outside of your comfort zone, don't be afraid to kind of do some experimentation and see what works for you. So I have really embraced kind of a more casual style right now since I have been staying at home a lot lately because I've been working from home. I'm not going to school right now. I am doing sewing lessons, but that's just a couple times a week. So I've been embracing a more comfortable style and adding different things like denim skirts into my wardrobe. And I've been kind of experimenting with that. I've been really loving that look with a pair of tights and Uggs. I think that is a great way to transition from winter to spring. Just be careful if there's still snow where you live, you don't wanna ruin your Uggs. So just keep that in mind. Maybe add some like layer of protectant spray or something like that so that you don't get them ruined. But yeah, kind of experiment with your style and mix and match and see what works for you. But anyways, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!